extra phone calls Bev was talking about. Talk to people where you work. Talk to people at the laundromat, in the bowling alley, wherever you are, in the office at school. Spread the word that we have a chance once, to, once again to have a nation that cares, that dreams, that leads. And we do. And the issues, the issues are the same as they have been from day one of this campaign. And they're the same issues that I'm going to be talking about until November 8th. And they're the same issues I've fought for all along. There are no sudden election year conversions on my part. I'm not switching signals in order to gain a few votes. Some of you may not agree with every stand I take. Even my wife disagrees with me once in a while. But you know on the basis of where I have been, where I'm going to be a year from now and two years from now and five years from now, be a United States pulling together a family. Education has to be a priority. Protecting our environment. We need people appointed in the Environmental Protection Agency who believe in that agency. We need to have a nuclear regulatory commission that protects the public rather than the nuclear industry. We need to see that the future is preserved for future generations. And we can do it. Long-term care. I want to see that seniors and their families are not devastated. We're the only industrial nation on the face of the earth that doesn't take care of our parents and our grandparents if they need long-term care. Can we do better? Why, of course we can do better. We're going to have to have a self-financing mechanism on it. I just can't take it out of the budget, and I'm committed to stop borrowing from that little girl who's sound asleep there. I do that to people in an audience. I'm engaged in an experiment whether we can have peace and freedom and justice and opportunity on that small planet. My friends, that's what the ball game is really all about. You don't build that structure of peace and freedom and justice and opportunity with some single dramatic gesture in Washington or the United Nations. You build it brick by brick by brick in Dover, New Hampshire, in Macanda, Illinois. But one of the key bricks, one of the key stones in that structure is the stone of leadership. And for reasons that are part accidental and part intentional, you have more to say about that stone of leadership. One million people in New Hampshire than 229 people else, million people elsewhere in this nation. Use that power wisely. I'm here because I need your help. It is a tight race, and we face a very fundamental decision whether we're going to have a government that really cares and dreams and leads <coughs> once again. We live in a good country, and I think we can say, without being chauvinistic, a great country. I don't mind telling anyone anywhere that I'm proud to be an American. But my friends, this good and great country can become a better country.